So you're thinking about moving to Hilton Head Island and Palmetto Dunes is maybe on your list. Well, this is the video for you. We are gonna go through all things Palmetto Dunes. We are gonna see the golf courses. We are gonna see housing. We are gonna see restaurants. We're gonna see the tennis and pickleball center. We are going to talk about recreation. Uh, we are obviously gonna to go to the beach. And last but not least, and we will probably start with this, we will talk about the 11 mile lagoon. So hang tight, sit tight, enjoy the tour, and eventually we'll get to the beach. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, make sure you know when videos are coming out. I put out videos like this every week to educate you on what's going on on the island so that you know where the best places to live, best places to hang out, best places for fun, best places for food. You know everything there is to know about the island. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're hitting that bell and you're notified when these videos are coming out. I get calls from viewers like you all the time who are thinking about buying or, or thinking about owning an investment property here on the island and I love those phone calls. I love answering those questions and helping those clients out. So don't hesitate to do that if that's something that you're interested in doing. Now let's get into PD, right? PD, uh, for those that are in the know, Palmetto Dunes is, uh, is PD. So next time you talk about Palmetto Dunes, make sure you say PD. I'm starting on the bridge, on the main bridge that crosses over into PD. And really I'm starting here because I wanna talk about the water that this bridge crosses. Inside of Palmetto Dunes, we've got an 11 mile canal system. This is, is uh, operated, we can, we can um, adjust the depths and the levels, and ultimately, this thing goes all the way around PD, and that's, it's navigable, so we uh, have the ability to rent kayaks from the, uh, uh, the um, can't think of it, the, out, uh, the outfitters, um, they will rent kayaks, canoes, fishing equipment. If you have your own, you can do that. Um, a lot of homeowners here who live on the canal have their own electric uh, pontoon boats. So you're looking at, at happy hours, sunset cruises, all of it here in this 11 mile canal. It is one of the coolest features of this entire island. So you will, we will see this throughout the video. I'll show you one of the boats. Uh, throughout the video, we'll talk about the outfitters and, and show you where they are and what you can rent from them. But I just wanted you to see this amazing view of the canal and what's here. And that's just the beginning. We're out in front of the Robert Trent Jones course here in Palmetto Dunes on the Mariner side. Uh, you got 18 holes championship golf here. They've also got a very cool, I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, but a tracking system on the range. We'll try to check that out. Hopefully we don't get kicked out by just kind of wandering around. We've got some golfers coming in here this morning, um, but I want to try to give you as good of a, a, a view of the course as I can without having a tee time, and without being able to, to run around uh, in a cart. Also here, Big Jim's. Big Jim's is the restaurant inside of the, uh, inside of the clubhouse. It's pizza, barbecue, sandwiches, you know, typical bar food. Um, it, uh, you know, perfect for after a, a round of golf, grab a beer, have a sandwich, go back to the kids and family afterwards. Let's go take a look out back, try to get you a view of what's going on here. So behind me is the top tracker uh, driving range. This is essentially like top golf, um, just here at the course. It's got all the electronics for you. We'll show you uh, the, your, your slices, your distance, uh, spin rate, club speed, exit velocity, all of that stuff. And as we pan over and take a look at the back of the clubhouse here, obviously we're getting ready for the morning. You've got the putting green and the practice green back there. Uh, things are hustling and bustling here uh, this morning. It, it is a wonderful, beautiful golf course of which we will show you more angles as we go through this video. So as we leave the golf course, we're gonna head over to the Tennis and Pickleball Center. Um, it's a little bit loud, it rained this morning, so they're blowing and drying things off over there. I may skip that, we might just go over to the general store here, show you what's going on there. As we get to the general store, 
ultimately what you have in there, you know, simple, easy, quick grab breakfast. Um, the, the fried chicken I hear is the absolute best on the island. So I'm gonna check that out. I personally love Publix, but we'll give it a try because I love fried chicken. Um, if, you, if I swing around, you can see here behind me, uh, can I get the, you probably can't see it. Uh, ultimately right behind me here is the pickleball tennis uh, facility. Here, the, this is, if you're into pickleball, it is the pickleball mecca. Uh, 24 courts of purely pickleball. We've got a um, pro shop dedicated to pickleball. Uh, th there's still tennis, if you love tennis and you're, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? A uh, loyalist to the game, but pickleball has exploded here on the island. And therefore, the, uh, Palmetto Dunes is, is the first and foremost to really put pickleball on the map with regard to the dedication of the courts, the dedication of the pro shop, a, a pro to, um, a pro to uh, uh, train. Um, it's it just, they've gone above and beyond with regard to what they want to do uh, here with regard to pickleball. So we'll go back there because as you can hear, it's a little bit loud and I don't necessarily want to scream over top of the blowers um, and I got more to show you so as we walk by you got the general store here you can see a couple gentlemen enjoying their coffee enjoying their breakfast um, again you've got all your typical you know 7-eleven stuff that's in there um, on top of then your uh, lunches quick lunches quick breakfasts uh, it's just a great little convenience store here at the entrance of Palmetto Dunes. So we just shot across the street from the general store. Right across the street is Alexander's. Alexander's is a, I'll call it fine dining. So you've got white tablecloths, fish, beef, um, steaks, chicken, you know, sit down, really nice um, restaurant, a great place if you want quiet, a good glass of wine, a good meal. Um, as I turn around, I wanted to show you, so I'm on a walkway right beside Alexander's and you can see Alexander's there behind me. But as we walk this walkway, I want to show you the back of Alexander's. It sits right on the 11 mile lagoon. Um, so it really has a very quiet, very picturesque um, setting that, that is on this just tranquil, beautiful, um, I don't know. This I love this lagoon. I think it is the coolest thing that that you, you got going for you. Um, so let me spin you around here and take a look. So you've got the lagoon. They've got their own dock, so you can bring your boat here to Alexander's uh, and, and you know dock it. Come up, have a good meal, go back home. Uh, never touch a road. Never touch a bike path. Never deal with uh, the public. Um, but here's a look at it. Take a look. super cool. On the bridge behind Alexander's, I just want to give you a great glimpse of this 11 mile lagoon. It, it's, it, it's, I'm a big fisherman. I love the bass fish. This reminds me of a hidden cove, no traffic, no noise. You literally um, just, you get to sit back here and relax. As I spin around, I want to show you um, the Outfitters is here. So behind me, you can see all the, the kayaks and the canoes right here. This is the outfitter. So we're going to go through there. We're going to take a look here. You can pick up your kayaks and, and canoes to, to come out here and just paddle around to fish, to, to do whatever you want, to be able to enjoy the, the, the lagoon. Um, again, it, it is such a hidden gem in this, uh, this community. As you go from Alexander's, go down a little bit more now you've got Hilton Head Outfitters so this is where you're gonna get uh, you know your bike rentals um, your kayaks your fishing equipment um, surfboards skimboards uh, all your your surfing good morning all your surfing um, water sport needs all right here at the Outfitters Again, everything is right here before you even get into the circle. 
So it's very easy to get to. You haven't passed a, a guard yet. It's all centrally located. Makes it real easy to just kind of stop in, grab what you need, get to your, your home. If you're here on vacation, get to your villa, get to your condo, and then take it all with you. Uh, Outfitters will, I believe, deliver the bikes to you. So if you call ahead of time, hey, I need a bike. Hey, the grandkids are coming in. We need bikes. They can be set up ahead of time. Make sure that you have everything that you need to have a great visit and to have your, your guests have a great visit. So really, again, a, a wonderful setup here in Palmetto Dunes with everything right here in the middle um, with the general store, the, the, uh, uh, the outfitter, um, Alexander's restaurant, Robert Trent Jones golf course is here as well as then again the the, um, the tennis and pickleball all right here in one location so it's really it's you know if you've got guests in kids want to get bikes you want to golf the wife and and in-laws may want to play pickleball or tennis it's all right here for you to be able to do um, just a, a, a phenomenal setup a great place to own a home, a great place to own a rental property because all of these things are great for your tenants and your guests. Um, just a phenomenal, phenomenal place. So we're out here at the, the um, Palmetto Dunes tennis and pickleball facility. Unfortunately, they're still out drying off the, the pickleball, so it's super loud over there. I'm not really gonna get you a good look at those courses. Um, but you can see behind me all the tennis and you can see how wet it is. We had a good storm come through this morning and uh, it now takes a little bit of time to get things set up. Can rent courts here by the hour, two hours. Um, and, and really you've got 17 tennis courts, 24 pickleball courts. And back here, right behind those, that, that fence, that's where all your pickleball is. Try to get a view from it from the other side. I can't get over there right now. And again, like I said, super loud. So don't really want to subject you to that. I don't think it's going to be a very good video. It's going to be a, a pretty loud video. All you're going to hear is a blower. Although that's all you hear every morning in Hilton Head anyway. Um, but this is it, man. This is, the, this is the, the pickleball and tennis center. Behind me is the pro shop. Get all your gear, get all your stuff. Got second row uh, living here in the villas across the street. Um, in, in, on the island, we talk about first row, second row, third row, fourth row, all the way up to beyond 10 rows. Talks about how far away you are from the beach. First row, the sand is in your backyard. Second row, depends on where you are. Now here in Palmetto Dunes, you know, you're, we're across the street. So here behind me across the street, these are gonna be all of our condos. They are going to um, be on the beach. They are going to be first row. When you come across that street behind me and you get to these villas here, you get a little bit more space, two levels, still most two bedroom, two baths. Some will give you three bedrooms. The lagoon is right behind us. So you've got the 11 mile lagoon that sits on these, which is really, really cool. Uh, and again, you can in less than three minutes be in the sand on the beach from these properties. But this is what it looks like to be second row here in Inverness. And these are the types of villas, uh, if you're from the north, townhomes that you're gonna be getting um, on this side. So I just snuck into a backyard because I saw that boat back there. So this is the 11 mile canal. What that boat is, that is an electric pontoon boat. So again, there, there's no gas motors in the 11 mile canal. So you've got a uh, lagoon, sorry, you've got um, paddle. So you've got kayaks and you've got uh, canoes um, and then you've got electric only. Um, most people have what, what is the equivalent of electric only pontoon boat. So that is docked on their dock in their backyard. They can take that to Alexander's. They can take that to the, um, they can take that to the outfitters. Uh, they can take it all over the 11 mile and have a happy hour. They can have snacks, take the kids out, fish, do whatever they want on this lagoon. 
but kind of cool that there's a dock sitting right behind their house. And unfortunately, there's not one on this house that I'm on, or I would show it to you, but they can take that and just go from their backyard all over Palmetto Dunes and dock it up in many different places and do a bunch of different things. So we're out in front of one of the many beachfront condo communities here in Palmetto Dunes in the Inverness side. Um, like I said earlier, all of these condos are, are owner, uh, a pri uh, private owner, sorry, losing my train of thought there. Private owner, um, they can be rented out short term through a property management company. They can be second homes, nobody touches it. Uh, they can be your primary residence, whatever you need or want. These are what you're gonna find on the Inverness side on the ocean front. These will be mainly two bedroom, two bath. There are some three bedroom in here um, and you're gonna run anywhere from the 700s to the couple million, depending on what floor you're on, what your view looks like, um, you know, how, how nice it's updated. Um, really, really spectacular views from some of these, these beachfront condos. Uh, you're gonna have a swimming pool with each one of these, fitness for center, private access to the beach, so it is a gated with a fob, can't get through it. Um, private access to the beach. Um, these are, are very, very hot rental properties, um, as well as some are affordable beachfront first row uh, living. So we're out at the Fazio course now over on the Inverness side, I'm here at the putting green, a beautifully maintained, well taken care of putting green. One of the coolest things that I just saw that I thought was really neat, see if we can get this thing to swing over to me here. Um, these pads right here are for chipping only onto that putting green. Uh, I don't do a lot of golf, but I've never seen that before. So I thought that was really pretty cool. Uh, we'll take a run out back just to kind of show you what's going on back there. Um, and then we'll move on and see the rest of the community. As we take a walk around, um, obviously you've got the pro shop inside, little snack stand. Um, it's a little less desirable, I guess. There's a little fewer amenities over here than you do have over at the Trent Jones. I don't see a driving range. I think that you're gonna do all your driving range over at the Trent Jones course. Um, they do have that really cool putting green over there, but you can see just a little patio out here to relax before, after your round. Um, obviously a little snack shop inside to get you what you need. Uh, as well as the pro shop. But if you're looking for a few more extras, I think Trent Jones is where you're gonna wanna be. On the Mariner side, things look a little different. Uh, here you're more residential, so you're going to see larger single family homes like this one. It, it's um, going to be a tiny bit quieter. There aren't as many homes, there's, there's not as much congestion, um, but they are still short-term rentals. So you're going to get vacationers here, especially the closer to the beach that we are. Um, but it, it's just a different feel over here on the Mariner side. So as we swing around, you know, obviously we've got this big, beautiful, uh, updated home behind us. But if you, if you kind of follow me around to the other side of the street, we've got a good example of, of what's back here. We've got some original, like this one, original to the community. It's gonna be a tiny bit smaller. Um, it's gonna be a little bit boxy. It's gonna be late 70s, early 80s built. You've got some that were on the other side there, uh, probably built around 2000. It, it's gonna be fairly modern, fairly open. It's not gonna quite be as glorious as, as what you see in the magazines with the brand new stuff, which is like the one we just saw in the beginning. So um, it, over here in Mariner, uh, more single family, uh, a little less congestion, but eh, you're still short-term rentals. 
So you're gonna have a lot of families here doing vacation things like families do. Um, but that's it, this is, this is the residential side, whereas the Inverness side is more of the condo, townhome, really, really uh, vacation-y, more of what I would think of when it comes to short-term rental where people are gonna to come to vacation. One of the cool things about Palmetto Dunes is this path right here. So that's gonna lead you straight to the beach. Literally, like every 100 to 200 yards, there is going to be a path that allows you to walk straight to the beach. So we're not cutting through yards. It's easy to carry our stuff. It's easy to get there and get back. And no matter where you are inside of Palmetto Dunes, you're gonna have access to one of these paths that's gonna make it easy for you to get to the beach. We're here at the Dunes House. This is the main public access to the beach for Palmetto Dunes. Uh, inside, you've got a little snacky restaurant, perfect for coming off the beach, grabbing something, eating it back at your chair, or just hanging out on the back deck for a little bit before you go back down and enjoy the beach. Uh, we'll take a walk through, take a look at what's here, see what it looks like. Obviously get you out on the beach, let you enjoy a little bit of that sand, surf, wave, and sun. Uh, then we'll head on back through the, the tour of Palmetto Dunes. So we come through the Dunes house, we're heading out to the beach. You can see a little snack shop here behind me. Uh, you may or may not be able to see that, but there's your, your quick pickup out here on the deck. Obviously you've got gorgeous views out here. But again, super great place. Come grab a bite to eat. Sorry, my camera's going nuts. Uh, come, grab a bite to eat, go back out to the beach, relax, enjoy yourselves. Um, I, I don't know what to say. It's, it's just about as beautiful as you could possibly want it to be. So as we come off the beach here at the Dunes House, you can see um, restrooms, public restrooms available to everyone out there on the beach. And then as we walk past almost all of these beach houses, have an outdoor shower to get all of the sand, all of the soot, all of the things that you will take home and want to get out of your body uh, are here in the outdoor shower. I will say you are going to want to get all that sand off of your body before you sit in that car. Otherwise, you're going to carry half of the beach home with you and then you're going to have to sand or, or uh, vacuum or get that out at some point in time somehow. Better to get it off here then once you get home and you're tired and you're sandy and you're exhausted from a great day at the beach. One of the downsides of the dune house is it's, it's pretty tight in here. So parking can be an issue, especially in the summertime when it's really crowded and really popular. Um, so you, you, you kind of want to think that through. Uh, even getting up to the dunes house, getting to the circle here and um, getting your stuff dropped off. That circle is not very big. There's going to be a lot of lines. Uh, getting stuff dropped off is so sort of hard. So what we'll do, I'll take you over to our little secret don't tell anyone spot where you can access the beach there and hopefully not have as many lines or as hard a time to get through. So come with me. We'll go see the next spot. made our way over to the Disney Beach House. Yes, that Disney. They have a resort here um, in Shelter Cove, which we will talk about sometime later. We'll do another video on that. But Shelter Cove being a part of Palmetto Dunes, as we mentioned in the beginning, the, they have a resort there. Um, and this is their access, the resort's private access to the beach. Now, little tiny known secret, shh, don't tell anyone this is access for anybody that is a property owner or a guest of a property owner here in palmetto dunes so if the dunes house is packed and, and parking is crazy you've got the option to try to come over here now the great thing about palmetto dunes 
is that really it's all walkable and it's all bikeable. Um, we are lengthwise from the entrance to the beach is one mile. So if you're going to uh, go to the beach, it's really simple to get on a bike. Uh, it's really simple to just take a walk. It, it's not hard to get to the beach, but if you need to drive and you want to drive, you got a lot of stuff, you got a lot of kids, tents, seats, coolers, all that stuff might be a little bit easier. Come find somewhere to park and then access the beach here. Like I said, if Dune's house is packed, parking's not really easy over there. It's a little bit skinny. Come here. You can uh, hopefully and probably find parking to be able to get yourself to the beach or at least drop off all your stuff and then walk back to the beach later. Now that you know everything there is to know about Palmetto Dunes, the last thing to do is contact me. I love getting calls from my viewers asking questions about the area, about the communities, uh, about food, uh, you know, where to shop, where to stay. A lot of you come here in vacation first and then decide to buy a house. So if you need help with, with recommendations on where to stay, what to do, what activities, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you out. We want you to love this island the same way that we do. So don't hesitate to pick up the phone, to text, to schedule a Zoom call. We'll get you started. We'll get you on your way to having a second home here on the island and enjoying and loving this place the same way that we do. Until next time, I'll see you later.